All right. More Flash games. Secret Flash games that were unknown to everyone. Well, not not exactly. Okay, so basically what happened here is somebody messaged me uh, some time ago about uh, something. And then they ended up giving me a link to uh, Flash games. Because they're like, oh, you didn't play these ones. And I was like, what, what are these ones? So I clicked the link and then I got a whole site full of their shit. I was like, whoa, what are these? God damn. All right, so I sent it to Mel, uh, Mel, and she compiled them for me and put them together, and everything was set to go. And then a week ago, I was supposed to play them, and then <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, but it didn't work. But now it does work, guaranteed. Uh, I don't remember how the process for this works, but I got like uh, 25. There's 25 of them in here, but I'm pretty sure only about... Uh, 10 of them at best are like actual actual games so yes uh, what do i do what's uh what was the order you put these in how should i go about doing these because i feel like if i start from one and then go down to 25 then we're gonna we're gonna like run out of actual game so I also don't know what's like I don't remember how this is listed. The things the things with periods in front of them are have updated versions, if I remember correctly. And the stuff in the extra folder is stuff that isn't Toho, huh? Is that correct? So let's click number twenty three and see what happens. Alright? Now let's see what happens. Thank you, Flamestone, for the resub. Now let me see. Uh Yes. Find the Flash player. I know it's there. I know you can see it. Find the Flash player. Find it. Find it. One of my favorite things about streaming is when I can see the window. Like, I can see it directly in front of me. And then when I try to capture it on a recording program, the recording program is like, where? Uh, uh, there's nothing there, bro. There's, there's nothing there at all. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you? What are you, a fucking idiot? There, 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 there you go. Okay. There you go. Switch between high and low number. The way we get good levels are right. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. I don't know what this is. So these are all done by Team Inazuma. I believe is what their name was. That's a handful of them. So some of them I think are more like flash animations than video games, which is what you're seeing here. Uh, volume warning, of course, because, well, I don't have any control over that. Well, I do, but yeah, I won't really know if it's uh, going to blast you until it blasts you. All right. So I'm going to click this and we're going to see what happens. So none of this is going to get me banned, but we're going to see how weird it is. All right, let's click it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> good, good start. This is Trick. Trick, where is Treat? Where is Treat? You know, I'm pretty surprised by the level of variety in uh in the creatures. Why is everything a trick? Gameplay? I don't, I don't. I don't think so. Remember, some of these are more akin to just flash animation more than anything. So weird. Let's do. Let's do another. Let's do number. Let's do number. Why are there two twenty threes in here? There's Tuku. Now here's Tori. Ready? Here's Tori. What's this do? Uh huh. Mhm. Mm okay. There she goes. <laughs> now she's back. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> How many different managers are there? Oh, well, there's Remo. I w yeah, this isn't really a game, but I'm, I'm having fun. Oh, well, the fun is now over. None of the fun's still going. 
Dude, there's so many. <laughs> Is she done? No, she's still going. <laughs> oh no, okay. We did it. There you go. Pumpkin removed. <laughs> Alright. Uh, those aren't actual games. I'm starting from the bottom. We're gonna work our way up to the top. So let's do let's do 21 now. Alright. I right. Here we go. What's this? Alright, chat. Place your bets. What am I going to pull out of that, that water? Now... I don't know how when this was made, but I don't I don't know I don't I'm gonna pull up a uh, pull up a fish. What am I gonna pull up? Ready? Here we go. I failed. I monkey. I, this one was a game. <laughs> this one was a game. I played it. I win. More monkey. I'd like to let you know I didn't test any of this chat. I just made sure that they opened up on the first screen. What is this? What? D what? That guy. Why is Patchy fishing for... Mo what is this? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> when do I catch... Uh oh, stinky. I don't know what that is. Ew. Very good. Okay. Now for a real game chat. Alright. So let's do, uh, let's see. I guess, I think the game started at number eight. I don't see number eight. Number eight is HAL 2014. So I guess, the, uh, 11 to eight don't exist. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then 12. So I guess I'll start at seven. I guess I'll start at 7. This is Chiyoko 2015. Is this a game? I'm starting to think it isn't, but we shall see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> let's let's hit this. Yeah, the volume is so quiet. I think that's because my Let me see. Oh, it's because the actual player is down to 10 because of, uh, splatter faith. Oh, that would explain it. It's like, it's so quiet. Oh, it's because I've lowered it 90%. Alright, maybe that'll be louder. What? 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 Whoa. What? 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Almost lost it. Is this correct? Am I winning? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, get her to nine. All right, we're gonna splash Remy now. <laughs> I, I, I. I feel like I've seen this art style before, but I couldn't tell you where. Try again. <laughs> now do it again. <laughs> that uh, the blue button doesn't work. By the way, there's there's. The blue button doesn't do anything. Oops. Part, pardon me. You can, why, why is there an indicator to type? Whoa. Whoa, why can I do that? What the hell? All right, and I can't do anything with it, but that's an option. All right, let me do another one. Uh, Nazupoka. Oh God, hold on. Don't worry, we'll get we'll get to the actual we'll get to the actual games. Oh what the fuck? Fit the hell? 
Ew, that's such an awkward size. I guess I need to center it. And there we go. Size was fine, it just wasn't centered properly. All right, click. There's your game. I wouldn't really call that fit the, fit the screen. There you go, Jesus. So, uh, that's not a very fucking game. I don't like that game at all. No. No. Nope. Not doing that game. What else we got? Alright. Let's go with six. 2015 April underscore two. Okay. This might be a real game. Let's figure this out. Alright. Ready? Go. I can't read the instructions, but if I had to guess, just based off this image alone, this is probably going to be one of those yeet games, where I yeet the character. Hold on, I'm turning the volume up. It's at 100. The bunny hop failed. Alright, try again. <laughs> I fucked up. Thank you, Red, for the reason. <laughs> Alright, All right, I gotta wiggle the mouse and get speed, and then I gotta hold a bunny hop. Alright, here we go. Come on, Tay. Come on, Tay. Monte. <laughs> Stuck the landing dog. All right, hold on. Let me try that again. I thought I was jumping. Oh, that didn't work. Oh no. Oh no. Try again. All right, speed. Speed, 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 speed. Slow kick to see if she hits it in. All right, just let her hop. Here we go. Um. <laughs> no mischief today. <laughs> Tay wins the race. Alright, what if I kick Aaron? Hold on, let me uh, let me kick Grayson first, and then I'm gonna skip her and kick Aaron. Well, now I just feel bad. So let's let's kick Aaron. This is gonna be bad for my health. Here we go. You got your hand in the honey pot for? What's this? I can't hit her. She's invincible. <laughs> Five hundred big ones. Not bad. Not bad. Very good. Well, that was, uh, that was neat. I like that one. Not much else I can do with it. There's not much else to, uh, to do for it. But, uh, I gotta say, I did enjoy that quite a, quite a lot. Alright, let's go back to, uh, let's go to... Did I do 20? Veil? Did I do this one? Uh, mm, I don't think so. Alright. So, what's going on here? In the chat, I can't read. 
as most of you know, I, I am illiterate, so I don't know what this says. Well, that was just rude. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, that's okay. I, I, that's okay. What's next? Uh, 18. Kitosu 2. Oh, hold on. I always gotta fix the damn screen. I do. What's this? I'm gonna open the curtain. Ready? Place your bets, chat. What is behind curtain number one? I see something in there. Do you see that? Wiggling in the center? So whatever's in there is alive. Something, Something's in there. We're going to see what it is. Ready? Pull, pull. Here we go. Um. Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't think, uh. Marissa's having a good time. <laughs> Struggling. Well, she had it coming. She had it coming. Squishy. That gives squishy people a whole new meaning. All right. Let's do, uh, let's do another one of those. We got uh, 17. Hall 2013. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do the next next game. I'm taping the best ones for the end chat. Alright. So, there's a goopy monster, and there's Patchy with a pumpkin. And there are two things, and, okay. So what do I do? Hmm. There you go, I win. That's it. Game's over. <clears throat> Try again. Blocking. Quit blocking. <laughs> Patchy's expressions. <laughs> she. <laughs> She's so expressive with that pumpkin. Win! You are a winner! Now this is this is prime video gaming. There she goes. Goodbye. Think she'll come back on the, the right side of the screen? Oh, no? She's gone. I just like how Patchy is capable of a fucking a kick to the chin here. Look at that. <laughs> I don't believe for a second Patchy could actually get her foot that high up in the air. What? Oh, hi, Remy. Oh, here's that flan. It's hard to tell without color <laughs> and a very zoomed in face. There's a ponytail on the side, so I'm pretty sure it's flan. There you go. Win-win. We both won. There's a decent variety of win screens there. <laughs> Alright. Next. Next is... Let's see. April... April 2nd was when I did. This is Halloween 2015. Number 5. Alright. Oh god. The stretched in a weird way. Fit the screen. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's weird. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I'm gonna click. So, let's see. I am Sukuna, and I have pumpkin head. They love their pumpkin heads. There are warnings on rocks, pumpkins, and upside-down skull. And there are treats. And I turn small. I think I get it. Oh, God, there's more. Uh... Uh... Yeah, no, I got it. Hmm. Alright. Let's try that again. 
Oh, I see. So I eat the food, turning huge when I want to not hit the rock. Yes. I get it. The question is, when does the game... Why did that pipe say go to World 1-2? <laughs> Bye, Patsy. Hmm? That got really fast. All right. So my meter for the thing runs out if I hold it too long. So I need to need to need to be smart about it. I don't know if there's anything else I can click. <laughs> That's cute. Why? Notice the gauge and level up on the top. Wait, what? Oh shit, there was more to this? Um. Uh. I'm only level one. How do I. How do I become strong? What, did I, did I slow down? Did I speed up? What happened? Uh, what? I'm not really sure what, ha I, okay. I'm not quite sure what happened, but things are, I'm in control now. At least a little bit. <laughs> All right. That was close. Try again. The level decreases speed, so I don't like, you know, okay. Okay, let me see. Let me, let me, let me give this a real, real legitimate try here. Alright. I'm liking the, I like the assets more than anything. <laughs> They're pretty great. Alright. Alright, alright. Starfish, rock, Excalibur, rock, pumpkin, hedgehog, by Marissa. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Slow down, Jimmy. <laughs> Almost got a hundred. Got a hundred. They just don't know any better. What caused that? <laughs> oh, I thought, I don't know why I thought that was a treat. God damn it. I'm I'm not really I'm not paying much attention to the the top of the thing. Say just got a million costumes. <laughs> that was cute. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, I'm not gonna do any more though. Two hundred two hundred four. Good good record. Good record. Her expression kept changing. Yeah, it depends on how early I got hit. So when you level up, your speed resets, so you don't have to like you know Mach ten that shit. It's neat, but since it's all controlled by the same button, it's like I need to I need to move my mouse up there and hit that. Unless maybe I can put my mouse in that general area and just hit the button whenever I see it light up. Anyway, I, I thought that was nice. So let's uh let's backtrack a bit here. I did Veil. Did I do did I do this one? Yeah, I did do that one. I can't remember them because their names aren't exactly the most clear thing in the world. Alright, this is Halloween twenty thirteen. Did I do this one? Yeah, I did. The fuck? I did that one. What's it doing up here? What? Did I do Uso 2014? What's this? Happy April Fool. Well, you can already tell this one's gonna be great. 
All right, here we go. Hey, Patchouli. Doshita. I am not a moon. Akanyan. Um. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Showtime. Oh, new hat. That's not a good hat. Neat. The goo monster. That goo monster is almost as iconic as pump pumpkin patchy. That's the rare. The rarest man. Does that mean patchy is controlled like ratatouille style? What is going on here? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess she's just attached to it. Uh, Cappy? Look like Cappy. Genie, Yukari. <laughs> there, there it is. There's the pumpkin. Hollywood. Oh God. <laughs> oh. She she looks a little bit distressed about that one. Nice. <laughs> Notori. Nice clown. Okay. <laughs> Wing cat. Oh. Beluga. <laughs> what? What? What is that? I can't. I can't tell. It's too. It's not. It's too. It's too. Uh, it's too unclear. That's the best one. That right there. That's the kind of button I want on my hat. I don't wear hats, but that's the best one. Oh, there's the, the blue guy. What? Skating rink. Is that a... Is that a kaboom? Look at all these hat designs, man. These are great. <laughs> I think that's all of them. Oh, look at that. Kangaroo. Oh. <laughs> man... What? That's one of my that's one of my favorite iterations of Oku. The little the little chubby bird with the the big red eye. <laughs> I love that Oku. Oh, there's a cat up there now. And now it's Nessie. Uh, what what is that? <laughs> Why are there so many? <laughs> Bro, there's no end to them. What? Oh my lord. Pack. Yes. <laughs> Alright, no more. <laughs> no more. There's so many. <laughs> Why are there so many? Is a Sonic Spring? If it had color, I'd be more inclined to agree, but it's hard to say for sure. Um. Wait, that was that Uso 15? Uh oh, did I just play that one? I did. Shit. Well, chat, I'm out. And by out, I mean I'm now down to the, the actual games. So now we're on, uh, what was it? Four? Val 2016? Jesus. Alright. Alright. Well, I, I see, I see what this group likes. Let's, uh, let's hit the button. Here we go. So this is a mountain. This is a mountain, and I guess I have to go there. Oh, I see the method of... Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Let me try that again. All right. Let's see.
Farewell, my fishy friend. What? 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 Nothing. <laughs> what? What? Pick one. Pick one. All right, I'll pick one. Do it again. All right. All right. Head. Now what? <laughs> I, I think I'm supposed to click there as well. Man, all right, let me do that again. Okay. Shovel. All right, here we go. Dig. I wanted to get, what? What is the best? What is the best digging utensil? I need to get through the mountain. Two, three, four, go! A hoe. All right, go. Ah! What is that, rocks? What? There was a star man in there. There's a star man and a drill. So that's just infinitely up. Oh my god. <laughs> Digging claws. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. <sighs> Chat. Massive. Bigger than her goddamn head. Oh, that was too early. Shit. Starman. All right. Invincibility. Oh. 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 Uh, okay. All right, all right. I want the drill. The drill's probably the best. All right. That's bad. Oh, I don't like this one. I'm gonna try that again. All right. No, not a shovel! Ugh. 
Ugh. Ugh. Do it again. Give me the drill. No, the Wolverine claws. Damn. Damn it. And break my new mask. <laughs> Do it again. Did again. No. That's not good. Oh, we sp slowed down. Damn it. Give me the drill. Give me the... No, the star man. That's fine. Flex on him. Hmm. I just want the drill, dude. <laughs> Again. <sighs> ah. There's a plank there, too. Let me see. Let me count. Not the head! I don't think the head's very good. No. <laughs> Friendship. One more try. One more try. I really want the drill. <laughs> Oh, it's not very good. Mm. Pickaxe, that's a new one. It was a bad throw on my part, but... Alright. No more of that one. That was nice, that was fun. Uh... I don't know how you're supposed to dig with a plank of wood, but I want I wanted the drill, but I couldn't get it, and uh, that's uh, hmm, there's one last picture for doing nothing. Oh, is there? All right, let me let me pop that back open then. All right, do nothing.
my uh, my arm hurts now. Hopefully I don't have to do any more button mashing. They're just having fun. That that's what this is. This is the fun ending. <laughs> Wiped out. I, I don't I I, I want to know the plot to this game. I want to know the plot. You see that mountain over there? It's full of the good shit. How do we dig into it? And one one of them, one of those three, or maybe all three of them used their one brain together and figured the best way to mine that mountain is to throw Wagasaki Hime at it with such a force that she can mine at a ridiculous pace. Like, <laughs> God damn it. All right, next is Unagi Sumieri. Okay, okay. I think this actually gave me the right window size, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, it did. Wow. This is Mystia. Mystia Lorelei. How many more? There's only three more, if you can believe it. There was like 20 or something in the pack, but, you know, a bunch of them were literally minutes. All right, let's see what happens. Um, Mystia is playing in the water, I guess, and I have to keep her... Do I keep her below or above that? Oh. What? What? What am I doing? What? Can I go home? What? <laughs> huh? Oh. Wait. That, that's, uh, that's a Neil, all right. <laughs> it's a fishing game. Oh. Okay. So, what do I, what, what does it mean five? Five out of what? What? Clear data? Dude, dude, there's 100 different eels. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Well, buckle up, chat. We're going we gonna to be here for a while. <laughs> now, you know, you know one of these eels is going to be goofy. Are there upgrades? Are there powers? Round two. Oh shit. There's two eel power. Cat eel. Alright, another one like that. Oh shit. Yes. Oops. Misty is really good at grabbing eels with her fingers. Whoa, oh, Jesus! <laughs> I did it. Wait, is the game over? Do I win? Do I keep playing? What? 14 eels? Where's the super eel? Legendary eel. Okay. <laughs> oh, whoops. I didn't realize I had that. <laughs> How am I gonna catch a hundred different eels? I kind of want to though. <laughs> that's not an eel. That's a fucking crocodile. <laughs> Misty, what are you feeding people? Ooh, that's a cool one. Neat. These all just like swim by her. <laughs> they just kind of brush up against her ankles and she snatches them. Yes. Damn it. Yes. 
I gotta find their legendary eel. That's not legendary. No. Oh, blue. Whoops. <sighs> Hundred eels. <laughs> One hundred eels. That's disgusting. Now, chat, I don't know what's going on with that one, but, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, let's see, I have 27, you know, that's not bad, that's not as bad as I expected, pretty good pace, oh, I have that one already, I don't have that one, hippo eel, I have that one. Oh, him again. Now get him out of here. I already have him. T. Uh, wait. Oh, it's a melon. It's a melon eel. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Ew, that one's hairy. It's nasty. But that one is weird, too. Big boom. <laughs> Look, look at the face on that one. The the thought of Mistia... Like, imagine you just, you're just hanging out by the lake, and you see Mistia on her boat, and you go over it. That one has wheels. And you just, what's in the boat, Mistia? Oh, you know, just the stock today. That one's armored. And you just look in the boat, and you get all these different kinds of eels. <laughs> and you know she doesn't give a shit. She, She's got what she needs out of it. All she sees is, is fresh fresh ingredients. Nothing nothing wrong with it. Ow. Crocodile. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Eight bit eel. There seems to be a little bit of a... Uh, like, it seems to... Maybe, maybe I'm just getting lucky, but it seems to kind of, like, prioritize things you haven't caught yet. Probably to speed it up, because there's a hundred of them, which is nice. But I've seen... As I say that, the last three eels I pulled out of the water I've seen before. I haven't seen that one yet. What the... What? Oh... <laughs> The Baniel. Unagi Usagi. It it's close enough when you think about it. Oh. Ooh. Ew. Alright. That eel's upside down. Skeleton. They're all eel jokes. But remember, eel is unagi, so they're all unagi jokes. I don't know if it translates properly to eel. Language puns are always fun to translate because you have to make sure you don't fuck them up. That... <laughs> what do you want me to say about that one? <laughs> Damn it. Oh. When do I catch just a real eel? Eat, Ch Chad. Is that? Is that? Is that Italy? It is Italy. Eel Italy. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh. A hydreal. <laughs> oh shit. Neat. How many eels I got? Let me check. I have 49 eels. There's still 51 left. What happens when I catch the last eel? Oh, there you go. Japan eel. That's 50. I have 50 eels so far. 
51 eels. No. 52 eels. 53 eels! Where's my- well, I'm gonna catch an electric eel. That one's slimy. It's nasty. Reminds me of Alice. Every time I see that one, it reminds me of Yoshi. I don't know why. Ooh. Misty eel. <laughs> oh. That's a brush. That's not an eel, that's just a brush. There you go. Super eel. <laughs> I like how round three just takes Mistia for a ride. <laughs> like first she squirms with it, and then it, it just goes everywhere. <laughs> Book eel, okay. A bibli eel. Hmm. I never thought I would be disengaged in a video game. It's not like I'm- Ew! Oh! Ew! <laughs> oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> ew. <laughs> like a finger. Yeah, I'm, all I'm doing is catching eels. At one moment, I was like, oh, 100, that's way too many, but here I am, like, 60 eels in, and I'm like, uh, that can't, that can't really be it. Come on. Alright. <laughs> nice. Nice eel. Let's see what we got so far. How are we on the rare boys? The rare boys, yeah. Mistia has something to say about every one of them, too. All 100 eels. And I can't understand a word of it. Oh. How'd they even come up with- Ooh, intestines. <laughs> Nasty. How'd they even come up with 100 designs? Can't ow. What the what? Okay, whatever you say, auto mod. Oh, him again. Hmm. <clears throat> I wish I could understand it. I don't need to though, to fully fully get it. You know? If anything, I'm just helping Mistia with her her line of work. And I'm learning about the the species that, that reside in Gensokyo's river? How do they have so many species of eel anyway? Hmm. <laughs> Dub <Dumb> eel. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Juggling eel. I already have about, I have about 70 now. What the hell? Is that an ice cream cone? It is. It's a soft serve eel. Ah, I hate that one. Lame eel. Lame eel. Ice cream eel. Eel. That one kind of looks like an airplane, I think. It's just got a lot of patience. See? She doesn't even, like, flinch when she's waiting. 100% patience. That probably wasn't very fun to grab. Almost got them all. Oh, 
Now here's the thing, chat. You may think, 100 eels, what are you doing? Well, look at it this way. My arm is still tired from the last game, so this is a great excuse to let that recuperate in case I need it for the next ones, all right? Because... <laughs> fucking ruler. I- that's a- oh god, what is that called? Chat, this is- isn't this the thing that they spent seven minutes in the first Lucky Star episode talking about? <laughs> you know, a fucking chocolate cornet or whatever it is? What side you eat it from? Lucky Star is a show- that's a slice of life show that I actually kind of enjoy. One of the first ones I ever really watched. But, holy shit, the first episode is one of the worst first episodes I think I've ever seen. It is so pointless. C come on. There you go. To be honest, I think it's fun to watch again every now and then. Just because it's... It's enjoyable in its stupidity and its simplicity. And it was made back in a time when those things were just like... I, I wouldn't really say it was like anything new, but... Ooh, neat. Maybe built the foundation of, like, how Haruhi Suzumiya kind of... I wouldn't say created the formula, but popularized the formula. And then everyone wanted to be Haruhi with its do-nothing clubs. Stuff like that. I liked uh, Lucky Star and Azumanga Daio. They were fun. But, like, if, if a show like that came out nowadays, it would... Ooh, wow, already ready to go. It would probably be ridiculed for being bland, unoriginal, and stupid. But I liked it. A banana meal. <laughs> What's my count at? 78. 78 eels. That's a set. Wait, I caught that one before, but I also didn't. Different kind. I don't get that eel. There's a spike on it. When do I catch Iku? That one's upside down. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they really just go on for food for like eight minutes. Or how you eat them. Oh, a heart eel. Like I don't personally, I don't I don't care that much. But like, if you if you don't know anything about Lucky Star at all, and that's your first episode, which it will be because it's the first episode, it's kind of like that's what I'm going to be listening to for the next 25 episodes, huh? But it really isn't at the same time. Honestly, I have half a mind to skip the first episode whenever I rewatch it. Hmm. No! Oh, whoa! Shit! That was it. There it is! Miss Deal! <laughs> I got 80 of them. Alright. Come on. Nice. Do nothing clubs are kind of boring, yeah. It's, they copy the they copy the formula, but not the part that actually makes it engaging. They say they missed the point entirely. Like you know how isekais exist, and everybody loves their isekai anime. Because they don't make any fucking sense. But, uh, reincarnated as a slime, uh, that's another misdeal. Reincarnated as a slime is not very good, in my humble opinion. I think it's really boring, and it's just like a power fantasy where, uh, well... It's a power fantasy. A man turns into a slime and he's fucking invincible and he can just like defeat everything in the world because it's, it's got a leash. And that's considered good isekai because it's so it's so basic and it doesn't try to pretend to be anything that it isn't that it's actually refreshing. That's how I saw it at first. I, I, I watched uh, I was watching it because I was like this is so like obvious and what it's doing that it's actually kind of refreshing. But then I got like halfway through it and I realized how incredibly bored I was because there wasn't anything ever happening. 
it was always just the same thing. Like, oh, this thing happens, but the slime man can fix it because he is the slime god. And then he goes and solves everyone's problems with literally no effort at all. And he just, like, you know, he can just fucking do that. And it's like, okay. There's no, there's no fear. There's no sense of urgency. It's like if One Punch Man existed, but One Punch Man was, like, the character who show is the only character in the show. Imagine watching One Punch Man where Saitama is the only character. Like, that's, that's a recipe for a boring show. 82. Oh, 18 more. Hmm. You ever see a, I want, I want to, uh, oh, wow. Old eel. You ever see one of those, uh, in another world with my smartphone? That's, that's a good example of a terrible show. It's popular, though. You, you just create a, you create a long name for your light novel. You put it in an isekai. You give your main character, uh, a, a OP powers and a, an offensive personality with no character traits whatsoever and you're good to go. I watched the first episode, and I gotta admit, I thought it had a neat concept with magic, but here's where it went wrong. So, here, let me explain the first episode, because I actually watched that one. So basically, God accidentally strikes someone down with a lightning bolt, some random Japanese teenager, and he's like, Yo, sorry for, like, hitting you with a lightning bolt, dude. And, like, prematurely ending your life at the ripe old age of 16, 17, 18. Whatever you want to call him. And the main character's just like, Ah, don't sweat it, God. Shit happens. And then God's like, You know what? You're a stand-up guy. I got it. I'm gonna send you to an alternate world with magical abilities, and you can keep your smartphone. He's like, Thanks, bruh. So then he goes to Magical World, and he's like, Oh, wow, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just a dude in a new world, and nothing about this is strange or weird to me. And I have my smartphone that somehow still connects to the internet in my world. Don't ask questions, all right? Just shut up and accept it. And then he he ends up meeting two characters. I don't even need to bother explaining those characters. Who gives a shit about them? And they're like, all right, here's how the magic in this world works. Everyone is born with an innate ability and the strength of, uh, to an element, and they're the strength. Oh, cool. And they have a, a strength in it that resonates to different crystals. So it had different kinds of elements. You know, she pulls out like a water crystal and. Holds it and she creates a little bit of water because that's her affinity with water magic. And I was like, oh, that's neat. So, you know, birthrights and all that shit. You're born with innate magical ability and there's all the different elements. So the main character's like, oh, let me try. And he, he touches, that's a small ass eel. So the main character touches the water crystal and then he creates a fucking torrential downpour like out of the crystal. And they're like, whoa, try all the other ones. And sure enough, he has the unbelievably godly ability of mastery of all magic, including the super rare void magic that no one can actually use properly because it's so rare. And he's just like, oh, that's cool. I guess I'm super powerful. And it's like, why the fuck would anyone want to watch at that point? Congratulations, you have a main character who literally cannot be beat, who's a master of every magic known to man. He will never face hardship in his entire life. He has no character which to enjoy either because he just rolls with the punches and doesn't actually have any personality. It's like, why are we watching that? Shield Hero? I hate Shield Hero. Shield Hero it looked was promising to me because the main character was treated like shit and he, you know, his personality changed to his situation pretty properly. And then by the end of it, and by the end of it, I mean, like, by episode 20 or whatever, when he finally got his comeuppance, he was like, No, don't do it. I've suddenly grown a heart. And it's like, fuck off. Like, you built this, you built one character up to be the most unlikable piece of shit I've ever seen in, any, like, anything ever. And then you, you make the main character constantly suffer at their hands. And then when the main character finally gets their just desserts, you're just like, No, the main character's now gonna not let that happen. Because he totally changed. It's like, no. No, I'm pretty sure if you just let that happen, then the main character would be way more relatable. Sorry to say, yeah, yeah, violence, yeah, yeah, but you look at what that main the main character was put through by that fucking character, then like, I I just can't imagine anyone would look at that and be like, all right, well, just let her go. Like, I can't. I don't think it's in. I don't think it was in character at all. And at that point, I was done with it. They took an interesting character and they, they just they just didn't do it. They didn't go through with it, you know. That character stood out to me. The main character stood out to me because of how he was treated. 
And then he ultimately looped back to being boring, a boring character whose decisions are exactly what you'd expect him to be. Not because that's how he feels, but because that the plot decided that he needs to do that. I hate those characters. What am I at? 86. 14 more eels. Hmm. <clears throat> Shield Heroes started good and very quickly became the same generic fantasy I'd rather use Kai is. I wholeheartedly agree with that. I 100% agree with that. Konosuba is great because it's parody, and it just makes fun of everything, and it's really stupid. It doesn't take itself seriously. Yet it still manages to move the plot along in a hilarious way. I love Konosuba. <laughs> Uh, I almost have them all. We're almost done eel fishing. Ooh, that's new. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Come on. That eel looked like Biakuden's hair. I like the movie too. Konosuba movie was good. Konosuba was good. Demon Slayer is pretty good too. I like Demon Slayer. Everybody has their preferences to shows. That's for sure. I don't really watch a lot of new things unless I hear good things about them though. I mean, I'm currently watching Dragon Ball Z, so <laughs> there you go. Dag Balls, he's a classic. Yeah, there is a movie. And they said, if this movie does well, then we'll make season three. And if it doesn't do well, then maybe we won't. Because every time... Every time they release a movie, they hold the they hold the series hostage with, with good sales. If you don't if you don't buy this movie, then you, we, we, won't, we won't make season three. They, all, they do that a lot. Demon Slayer did it too, but then Demon Slayer was like the highest grossing film in 2020 animated movies or some shit like that. So, got away with that one. Man, how many more eels do I gotta go through before I'm done? Oh, that's a new one. It's not new. Come on. We're at 90. There's 10 more eels, chat. <laughs> Come on, give me a new one. Give me a new eel. That's new. 91. That was the first deal. Nope. Yeah, this boat's just going right to Yuko's house. This will satiate her so I can live another day. Mistia lives a, a pretty hard life. She has to constantly prepare meals so Mistia, uh, so Yuko will leave her alone. Ooh, Planet deal. Chad, I saw a picture yesterday of uh, Yuko. It was Yuko and Kusen, and they were they were lining up to get some meat from Sakuya. So she cut a she cut a slab off the meat for Yuko, and then Yuko took the whole goddamn roast and walked away, <laughs> and left only the slab of meat. <laughs> what a glutton! A classic, I guess. I don't think I've ever seen that one before, though. It was nice. 93. Alright, seven more eels. Seven more eels. I guess right now we're just, uh... I don't know if anyone voted, because I, I didn't really vote. But they're, they were running the poll for popular Tuhu pairings. I'm not really into that kind of voting thing. I just don't care necessarily. I wouldn't be surprised if Marissa gets in the top three. Like, I mean like the entire top three is Marissa with someone. I really wouldn't be surprised. 
But every time a popularity poll happens, it's usually the same thing. Oh, oh it's already over. Rainbow Marissa won by a landslide. I'm not surprised. They're the main characters. Franco and Maribel was second. That's pretty impressive. Marissa was one in three. Marissa and Rainbow and Marissa and Alice. <laughs> it makes sense. Now, the funny thing about the popularity polls is they're usually the same every year. You know? But, like... That's to be expected because the popularity poll... The popularity poll is used to decide who is popular, so it's not too surprising when popular characters get voted for it. It's like, oh, this year's popularity poll, uh, Reimu, Marissa, Koishi, like, the, you, these char you can expect these characters to be in some way, shape, or form in the top 10, right? Like, this is, this is just something that you're going to see, no matter what, because they're popular characters. So, they're going to win the popularity poll. And top 10 has been the same character in a different order every year for like 5 years. But that's because they're popular, right? But, what else can you- what can you really do about that? Popularity contests are inherently flawed with how they work because they're popularity contests. The only way for a popularity contest to be accurate to popularity is to do what they're doing. Which, in turn, makes the results look the goddamn same every year. Because those characters are popular. <laughs> same with the music. But, now, let me direct your attention to the voting gauntlet in Fire Emblem Heroes. Now, for those of you that play Fire Emblem Heroes, you probably know what I'm, I'm talking about. The way the voting gauntlet in Fire Emblem Heroes works is they run a popularity contest, but... They make it so the underdog has- gets more- Their votes for the underdog counts for more points. Which is unbelievably stupid when you think about how that translates to a popularity contest. So, let's say you take two characters, chat. You got- you got Camilla from- from Fire Emblem f uh, Fates, right? You get Camilla, obviously a popular character. And you put Camilla up against, um, um, uh, um, fuck. I I'm having trouble thinking of, like, a, a random character. Bartra. That's a good one. That's a good one. So you put, you put Bartra up against Camilla, and... It is it is unsurprising that Camilla wins that by a landslide victory, right? However, in the interest of quote unquote fair play, they seem to make it so that every vote you every vote on Bartra is increased by like fifteen to twenty times the value of the actual vote itself. So popularity contests dictate that Camilla wins that it's no fucking contest. However, because of the the the, the style that voting gauntlets went with in Heroes, there is an actual legitimate chance that Bartra comes out on top over Camilla. I'm not saying it happens every single time, but it's almost insulting. God damn it. Oh wait, that's a new one. Nice. Hmm. What are we at? 94, okay. We're almost there. We almost got them all. Why am I doing this again? I know there was an example of a character getting all the way to the finals in a voting gauntlet where they had no business being. Because, as I said, votes for them just counted for more. And that doesn't really speak properly on a character's popularity, you know? Like, oh, let's make it so that the less pop... Ow. I dropped the eel. Let's make it so the less popular characters are worth more in their votes. That'll show just how popular they are. Like, pretty sure that does not succeed in showing a character to be popular. <laughs> Quite the opposite, in fact. I think it's pretty clear that if a character is getting times 20 uh, in their voting results, then they're probably not that popular, which is why they need the boost, you know? So, there's no good way to do a popularity contest because if you do, 
If you do it with raw votes, then obviously the popular characters are always going to win, no matter what. And it's only really an interesting competition between characters that are very popular. And, you know, other characters have absolutely no fucking chance. But then if you do it like this style, then it just becomes a goddamn mess. And then characters will win based on anything but popularity. You're, you're literally giving extra points for people be like, Yeah, you like that, you like that random unknown character? That mean you you deserve obviously you like that character more than this person likes that popular character so your vote co counts for more. That's a uh, <laughs> not very smart way to look at it I'd say. Misty has been in the river all day, but she will succeed in what she set out to do. I will guarantee that. For those of you that played Fire Emblem Heroes right now, anyway, I'm sure you noticed that the Choose Your Legends event is going on. Where, you, you know, the community votes for the character they want to get a, a new, like, skin and stuff. And people are voting for the fucking gatekeeper from Three Houses. And he's winning. Like, he's, he's really high up there. Yikes. Damn it. Popularity contest. Quite contradictory was not as contest a fair contest doesn't show popularity. That's exactly the thing, right? A popularity contest will always have the same result if you pair up certain characters, but like if you turn it into a contest if you change the rules of a popularity contest, then the popular part is no longer there, right? I hope Gatekeeper wins just for the the pure value of it. I don't play heroes anymore because I think it's a bad game. Gameplay loop's kind of stale. I don't like the power creep that happened to all the units I played as, and I really hate the idea that every time you fucking get a character, uh, the better one comes out by a couple of stat points. Oh, whoops. I pulled for Maribel. I got Maribel, and then, like, a week later, uh, Veronica came out, who was literally just Maribel, but better stats. It's like, wow. Wow. I had a I had a Hinoka, Warrior Hinoka, flying bow user, and her specialty was a, a increased damage against armors. And then guess what? Every armor in the game still kills her in one interaction because her actual damage isn't high enough to utilize that, and their counterattacks just rip through her shitty defense. So they made an anti-armor unit that loses to armor. Pretty impressive. Where's this? Where are these last eels? What am I missing? Damn it. What am I missing? I'm missing... I'm missing an eel there. It looks like I'm just missing a bunch of rare eels, huh? Hmm. Damn it. Fire Emblem Heroes PV, uh, PvP arenas, you know, the plus 10 shit. But the gameplay is also pretty simplified. So it's just, you hit them and if they don't die, then you die. Like, I know I've seen a picture that was calculations with skills and the math... It didn't show the skills that were going to be active in the uh, encounter, so the math was all kinds of fucking wrong. <laughs> hmm. Come on. Come on. I think I'm missing one rank one fish, and then a rank two fish, and then a, a bunch of rank three fishes. But I can't... I can't pull any out. PvP in any gacha game is kind of a joke, because it encourages you to buy. To win. That sword has been there a lot. <laughs> nice. Alright, it's another one. Ah, oh, shit. Am I ever gonna finish this? Oh! Goofed it. Hmm. No. Oh. Ow. Oh. Hmm. 
God damn it. I'm pretty sure I'm only missing one rank one EO. I don't know how much longer I can sit here and do this because I, I need a bunch of rank threes and it, it seems, it seems I'm out of luck. At this point, I've exhausted the population of eel. Damn it, I have that one already. Oh, come on! It's so close to- yeah, I'm so close to finishing it. I want to finish it, but... <laughs> God damn, man, why'd it have to be all the rare ones? Oh. Oh. It's like gotcha, but I don't have to spend money. This is basically what gotcha is, chat. Except every single time Misty dunks herself into the river to pick up an eel, it costs you one dollar. Now when you think about it... When you think about it like that, does it really make you want to dip in for the eel? Hmm? <laughs> because at this point I'm almost done, so I do. <laughs> Give me the eel. Give me the goddamn eel. Not an EA game. EA games, uh... Man, I don't know about them. Hmm. Don't, don't argue about favorite characters. There's like 150 characters in this series. If you get mad at someone for liking a character you don't, then you can find a better you can find a better use of your time. For example, I like Mistia. Misty is great. I don't like Sumireko. But I'm pretty sure I'd tell you that every single damn stream. Free to play Genshin? That's fine. Genshin kinda pissed me off with uh it being like, oh yeah, you can play it for free, but the amount of grinding you have to do to actually do anything is insane. And then the time trial stuff that's like, oh, beat these enemies. Beat these enemies in this amount of time, but you can't, you literally can't do enough damage because you didn't buy uh, more weapons to uncap. It's like, um, fuck you. So I just kind of got sick. I kind of got sick of being, finding things and then just literally not being able to do them because I had a time restriction. I don't mind if I can, I don't mind having low power if I'm allowed to do it at my own pace, but as soon as they put a timer on me, it's like, fuck off. Whoa, that was magic. That was a new one. That was the new one. All right. All right, 96. There's four more eels chat. There's one rank two and three rank threes. All right. All right, come on. Come on. I like Misty because she went from, you know, just stage two character. She has a funny hat. Funny hat's always good. I like her attitude. I like that she sings with Kyoko. I like that she runs her own food stand. I like her uh, her uniform. Misty got a lot considering she's only a stage two boss. Funny hats make or break designs, man. I'm telling you. Zen kind of abandoned the funny hat theory, though. You notice that? Like, we call them Zen hats. The the poofy the poofy hats that uh, the characters in the early games wear. But I'm pretty sure the last character to wear a, a, a Zen hat was... Hmm. Hmm. No, Okina... Okina is wearing a funny hat, yeah, but Okina's not wearing a Zun hat. A Zun hat is like new. Ooh, all right, new eel, new eel, new eel. <clears throat> Had to be a character from Toho. I guess would you count Aki's hat as a funny hat? Well, not funny hat, but a Zun hat, because it's kind of like a Zun hat, right? There's a little more style to it. But like when I think of Zen hat, I think of like Chen and Ramilia and Yukari. The the, the weird poofy curl ones. Cause to be honest, with you, I I like uh, I like Koichi's hat a lot, the bowler's hat. But I don't think it's a it doesn't count as a Zen hat. 
she's like the only one I can really think of though. Oh, Minoriko, Minoriko. I think Minoriko was the last one with a sun hat. Damn, you again. Get out of here. Hmm. They're called mop hats? I actually don't know if they have actual names. I've just, uh... I heard them called zun hats, and that's what I stuck with. The thing is, if you don't know what something's called, and you're, not, you're assuming it's not a real thing, the first, the first explanation you get is usually the one that will stick in your head. The same reason I call it non-spells cooldowns. Because <laughs> that was the... That was the first time I, I, I ever seen them, and that's what I was told they referred to as. So I started calling them, uh, cooldowns. It may not be technically correct, but like, at this point, it's it's too hard to correct it. So I heard, uh, when I heard them be called Zun Hats, I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's what they are now. They're Zun Hats. <laughs> that's what I know them as. I, don't, I didn't know they were actually real hats. Misty, I need you to pull up, uh... Pull up the big eel. This is really gonna be like the whole VOD, you know that? I'm probably only gonna put timestamps on the uh, actual games and not all the other little flash animations in between, because that's a lot of work. The funny hats are... Funny hats, we got a... Uh, Mailing had a funny hat. Scarlet Sisters had funny hats. Letty had a funny hat. Chen... Chen, Ron, Yukari have funny hats. Yuko has a funny hat. Uh, Fresno Rivers don't have Zun hats, but they have they have funny hats. Oh, there's okay. Now we have three more. Two more. Two more chat. Two more. Two more. Two more eels. They gotta be rank three though. Hold a mop cap or a bonnet. Hmm. Come on. Patchy. Oh yeah, Patchy has a funny hat too. <laughs> Forgot about her. But yeah, I think Minoriko is the last character to have a have a Zen hat. Think about this for a second. Uh, no one in Toa Twelve has one. Toa Thirteen. No. Uh, 12, 14, no. 12, 15? Dormi has a sleeping cap. No. Do you, I, I don't know if you can call Hikati's headwear a hat, though. Because she can kind of, like, take it out and put on a different planet. Her headwear is weird. Uh, no one in 17 has a funny hat. Unless you count a cowboy hat as a funny hat. I don't. Cowboy hats are cool. Mai and Satono wear shoes on their heads. Hmm. Keiki Sat, Sat isn't a Zen hat. So yeah, no, I think Minoriko was the last one to... It's interesting, though, because when you think about it, Minoriko is like the last character to have a, a mob cap on. And people will still refer to, the, you know, the funny Zen hats as... They'll refer to the entirety of Toho with, uh, to, like, their hats, right? But, like, only a handful of characters in the grand scheme of things actually, <laughs> actually wear this hat. And Kadia's hat, hat is, like, a cup holder. <laughs> God damn it. Hmm. 2009 is like seems to be like peak Toho meme year, yeah. Of course, I didn't start getting in the series until Toho 2017, so yeah, been a while since then. Hmm. Crescent's buns, just tiny Zen hats. No, they're buns. You said it yourself. Those are just buns. Those are real. I gotta ha ask how those stay on properly. Considering they're just kind of covering her horns and if those fall off then her secrets out Like surely there's a better way to go about that than what she did. All right Oh Man, I'm missing two Come on Hmm Damn it Mistia has an interesting hat because I don't really think it's a Zun hat, but like, 
kind of like a Zen hat, but it's got its own style to it. Trying to think of other stage two bosses that got as much characterization as uh, Mistia did. I guess Kyoko did. Because Kyoko's a part of their little band. The whole Yamabiko thing. How she constantly recites her sutras and stuff. Kyoko's got some decent character to her, considering... You know, she's part of the... She's part of the Myoren group. But she's not present until Toho 13. Which actually kind of confused me at first. <laughs> I was like, who is this character? Damn it. <clears throat> Sounds like she's wearing a bowl on her head. You know what? Actually, you're kind of right about that. Huh. Yeah, if you take away the wings and you look at how the little the little end goes, it's kind of like a bowl. <laughs> Neat. Yeah, we've been here for a while. There's a hundred eels I have to catch. We're currently down to two eels left. And they are, uh, they're rare eels. So, we've just been talking about things as we ford the river for enough eels to feed Yuyuko alone. If Misty has sold these, she would be rich. Just find Yomu. Yomu would be able to chop them up, too. I, I don't think I've ever had sushi with eel in it. Damn it. I have had eel before, though. Eel is weird, because it's kind of expensive. Like, eel is more expensive to buy, at least where I am, than beef, chicken, and pork. And it kind of tastes like burger. Like, it's really weird to say that, but it kind of tastes like burger. It's not bad by any means, but I don't like it more than I like chicken or, or pork. So the difference in price isn't worth it to me. Still, if you ever get the chance to try it, I would recommend trying it. I know it sounds weird, like, how the hell could a fish taste like burger? That's, that's what it was explained to me before. From my friend, my friend explained that to me, and I was like, there's no fucking way it tastes like burger. It's a fish, dude. And she kind of does, actually. Never had smoked eel. I've only had it in, uh... I had eel on, uh... A, 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 a dombo. A dombori? Whatever it's called. So I had unagi don. Like, I love katsu don. I had it with, uh... Unagi instead. And there wasn't nearly as much unagi on it as they put with the, the pork, so that sucked. Man. I don't want to touch an eel, though. They look like they'd be very difficult to hold. Hmm. Ah, uh, Misty's got her little wings. I like Misty's design. Zun's, uh, say what you want about Zun's art, but he manages to get all of the details that are necessary to the character design in his artwork. He really lays the groundwork for all, uh, all fan art. Although sometimes, sometimes characters end up with their own, like, styles. Well, I say styles, but when you look at Satori, Satori's hair is straight up purple in in uh, Eleven. Like in subterranean animism, her hair is purple, but everyone draws her hair like pink. I don't know how that ended up happening the way it did. I'm okay with it. I don't really mind that much, but it's definitely purple <laughs> when you look at it in canon. I don't really get much say in this. I just kind of hold the click the button and see if it works. C come on. Hmm. Fuck, I didn't realize I hit round two. Damn it. Phantom usually ruins characters. Well, that's all a matter of opinion more than anything. It depends on how much you let the fandom paint a picture of a character for you. I've never come to hate a character based on their, the way fans represent them. And I say that as someone who dislikes the grimdark shit that usually gets paired up with Koishi, Flandre, and to a lesser extent Kaguya. I prefer those three to be more happy, curious, childlike, not psychopaths. So I just tend to avoid the psychopath stuff. 
and I'm good. I will never look at Koishi's heartthrobbing adventure as a result. I have no interest in something like that. But it exists. It's not like telling people I hate it's going to make it disappear. I'm just gonna stray away from it and not look at it. And then continue to live in ignorance. Because remember, the thing about fan and personalities is they're not canon. So if you don't want to see them that way, then you don't have to. It's beautiful. I haven't read any of this, uh, the Cheating Detective Satori since uh, since they left the SDM. I know that Chen got a new outfit. I know that I, I, I know that much, but I haven't seen anything past Flandre trying to choke out Mailing. Hmm. The only thing that really goes with Psychopath Koishi is the fact that she's incapable of feeling emotions. So she'll just do whatever she wants with no concept of good or uh, good or evil, right or wrong. And then in Toho 14.5, they gave her a knife. So, you know. You give a character like that a knife and suddenly they're they're, they're a whack job. Don't ask me, dude. I, I don't know. Koishi's not even, like, I don't even like Koishi that much. She's one of those characters that I don't... I feel the way I feel about the way I feel about Koichi is accurate to how she is described in actual canon. She's a character that can no longer be hated, but she can no longer be loved either. And I'm right there in the middle. I don't hate her, and I don't really like her either. She, as far as I'm concerned, she exists. I got no problem with her, at all. Chad, how would you describe Flandre's personality based on the Cheating Detective Satori iteration? Because. That was the first time in a long... Well, it's like 15 years or some shit. That has been a long time since we've seen anything with Flandre related to canon. And she showed up and was like, Yeah, I, I stay in the basement because I want to. And then and then she tries to choke out mailing. Like, that's... That's all we got. Smart, calm, little weird, has a tendency to jump the gun. That sounds about right, yeah. It's hard to say though, because it's only we only got like a, a a chapter of her uh, of her, so we don't really know anything else about her. Pretty similar to Remy in that regard, I suppose. But Remy's had so much screen time that she's had enough. She's had time to kind of develop her personality a little bit more beyond just that. So to me, Flandre Flandre's appearance in Cheating Detective reminds me of how I have thought of Remy before like more fa more work started using her. I'm talking about official works too, because. Official Remy is definitely a bit of a child. <laughs> she's bossy. She's uh, very impulsive. She's very childish. But she tries really hard not to show that side of her. It's great. Mm. Well, the basement imprisonment thing is fan of misinformation, yes. But you gotta remember that this information didn't... Literally didn't come to light until like... A year ago at best. Where Flan Flandre and Cheating Detective straight up like, yeah, oh, there, okay, one more. And Flandre and Cheating Detective straight up just says, yeah, I stay here on my own accord because all of my needs are attended to. But she doesn't really specify anything like that in Toa 6 or in Bohemian Archive. So, people just kind of rolled with whatever they thought made sense. Why would she be in the basement for so long and never come out? Because her power was so great that they didn't want her to walk around and destroy everything. No, she's there of her own free will. And that's how you get a retcon. <laughs> <laughs> One big old fucking retcon 15 years later. Come on. I need one more eel chat. I just got the impression she was intentional neat. I never got that impression personally, but I think I was... My, uh, my interpretation of her was colored by fandoms early on. But then you have characters like Rumia who literally don't have any personality, like, at all. Outside of what the fanon has given her, and then, like, she's as popular as she is, right? Rumi's personality ranges from uh, the childlike innocence of a fairy to, uh, you know, horrifying human-eating monstrosity with insane powers. And it's like, well, whatever you want to go with, I suppose. I'm okay with any kind of Rumia, as far as I'm concerned. I like, uh, I like the Rumia that has fun with her friends more than I like the Rumia who uh, enjoys eating flesh right off the bone, you know? Again, I'm not really a fan of grimdark stuff, so that's all. Hmm.
Come on, there's one more. Oh. That's it. That's it. That's all of them. Every eel acquired. 100%. I got every eel. I'm the greatest. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I did it. Every eel acquired. Uh, oh god. Well, that went on for a while. Let's play the next game. <laughs> next is 2016 Ween. That's what it's called. That's well, these two. Oh, that's wrong. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, I can't read that. There's a pumpkin. The uh, these two are here. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Regular pumpkin. All right. Oh god. There were more there was more than one. I was like, what's the difference between them? Bat pumpkin. How long does it go? Oh jeez. <laughs> Fast hand ever, damn. Look at this. He's so quick. I have Horus. What? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah. Let's uh, let's goof it, I guess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't realize it was that serious. <laughs> the future refused to change. Well, so be it. One more chat. This is number one. Val 2017. Now, there's some, this is, we got underground here, all right? And as you can see, someone is packing some serious heat in this title screen. Well, let's see what happens. All right, Yugi is gonna throw some rocks. I guess. What are we doing here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? 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 We're still going? The game's not over? Oh. Just <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Why is Parsley in pain? All right, Parsley. Oh, we gotta collect! We gotta collect the good shit. Alright, we're full. Back in the bucket. Let's go. Collecting. God damn it. It's fine. Fine. See, we did it. Oh, 
Are we eating rocks? Are we eating rocks? Let's do it again. Small hole. Little hole. There we go. Alright. Pick up your friend. I, I know it's kind of strange that she just kind of removes the bump. I'm clicking too fast. She can't... Oh, I just have to hold it. Okay. Go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Parsi is okay. I'll do one more. All right, Yugi. Ah, it's not very good. Don't let her fall. I can't imagine that feels very good. All right, pick her back up. Get her in the bucket. Collect dirt. Full on dirt. Time to go. Shit. Shit. Ah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Look at that. Clean! Enough. How, where's the cut in for Yugi? How do I get the cut in for Yugi? Go back up without Parsi. Okay. Well, that was my best one yet. And now she's getting abandoned. Shovel dirt. Alright, bye Parsi. Why was that like near perfect? <laughs> Damn it. And I went and opened my mouth and then ruined it. <laughs> we we forgot someone. There's no Parsi bonus. <laughs> one more. One more. If I, if I don't get a good one here. Alright. Nah. That's it, chat. That's it. That's all of them. That's all I got. So of course, you know what this means, right? You know what this means. Where is it? Was this the right one? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Game time. Go again. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. The absolute state of the quality. The quality is really low, it's such a small window. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. That was fun. That's the chat. That's all I got. That was all of the, uh... That was all the Flash games I had. Just, uh, just under two hours. Mostly because, you know, 90% of it went to... I would argue 90% of it went to the eel fishing one. A lot of those are pretty fun. <laughs> They're, they had a nice art style. Simple to understand gameplay. I enjoyed those. Although I, I kind of am glad they weren't part of the other collection. Because the other collection went for about four hours anyway. So there wouldn't have been enough time for all of it. Eel stream. Basically, yeah. This was a stream for eels. But those were the Team Inazuma Flash games. More, uh... Even the goofier ones in the back were pretty good. 
like uh, i mean they were good they were fine they weren't really games but they had a lot of variety to them which was kind of surprising like legitimately surprised with how much variety they had in each uh each one i love their art style too <laughs> both uh both their actual art style and their their goofy characters art style i, I really like it but yeah that's uh as far as i know chat that pretty much concludes all of the flash games that do exist uh, but again i didn't even know i didn't know these existed so maybe there's another group that has a bunch that did some and i don't know about them either either way i i did enjoy those and i think it was worth the uh the hassle getting them to work and i'm glad that i got to play them today and here i thought it would take me the entire stream to do so but well maybe in the future there will be more that show up somehow i severely doubt it but never say never right but until then, I don't think we're going to be seeing any more Flash games for a while. But that's okay. Because the ones that we do have, at least on uh, on record, are pretty damn good. <laughs> Quite honestly, they're really quality. Flash games are always made with that idea that, you know, they, they have a repetitive play to them where you go for score and all that. And that's I think that's a good sign of a Flash game. A lot of these kind of share that idea where you can just, you know, they're like basically endless runner types of games where you keep playing and just get good scores and whatnot, and there's not really any end to them. You just play to kill time. And that's good. That's good. The eel one does end, but I also don't think you were supposed to sit there like I didn't catch 100 eels, but, you know. that I was I was pretty sure I wasn't going to do that, and then the number got really high, and then suddenly I was, uh, suddenly I was invested. I had to check how long that took. Probably almost 40 minutes alone. But yeah, maybe maybe someday we'll have more more flash games, but uh, for right now that is that's all of them. That's all of them.